We have an update uh, regarding Michael Gadboys, the superintendent of Tri-County Schools in Carlstead, Minnesota, who last Sunday was charged with DWI. Now, I just talked with the uh, school board's attorney, Steve Knutson, who says a special school board meeting is being held uh, late this Friday afternoon to retain the services of an interim superintendent who will be in place for a short time. Uh, Knutson says uh, Minnesota law requires the school district to have a superintendent in place. Uh, Knutson says uh, that Gad Boys remains on a non-disciplinary suspension with pay following a pending investigation. Uh, for background on this story, uh, here's our report from earlier this week. The superintendent of Tri-County Schools in Carlstead, Minnesota, is in hot water. 55-year-old Michael Gadboys has been charged with three misdemeanors of second-degree DWI, open bottle, and possessing alcohol on school grounds. Gad Boys uh, just started with the school on July 1st of this year with a $100,000 a year, three-year contract. According to the criminal complaint, uh, this is what happened. Quote, on the evening of September 25th, Sunday, 2021, and while on routine patrol in Kitson County in the city of Carlstead, the uh, Kitson County deputy noticed a Tri-County School minivan parked in front of the Tri-County School in Carlstead with the rear hatch open and several cases of what appeared to be soda sitting in the parking lot on the passenger side of the van. The radio was on, music was playing, and a nearby door to the school was standing open. Lights were on at the top of the stairs of, in the school. The deputy saw no one in the vehicle at that point and suspected that someone from the school must have been unloading supplies. The deputy returned to the scene approximately a half hour later, and this time uh, found the above-named defendant, Gadboys, sitting in the uh, driver's seat with his head resting between the steering wheel and door. The deputy checked on Gadboys to see if he was in some kind of medical distress. As the deputy approached him, the uh, defendant looked up at him. The deputy could immediately see the defendant's eyes were very bloodshot and watery and noticed a very strong odor of alcoholic uh, beverages about him. The deputy asked Gadboys to identify himself, and he began to mumble and started feeling around in his pockets and his shirt. The deputy asked again who was in, who he was, but uh, Gadboys did not respond. The deputy asked if he could produce his driver's license, and uh, Gadboys began to look around in the front of the van. The defendant's movements were very slow as he opened the center console and again checked his pockets. The Gad Boys then reached for the radio as if it was uh, as it was rather loud, but instead his hand found the fan control knob for the air of the vehicle. At that point, the deputy asked Gad Boys to exit the van. Upon exiting, the defendant began to reach for his pockets and then appeared to be walking away from the deputy. At that point, the deputy placed him against the van and patted him down for safety. The pat-down produced no weapons, but also produced no wallet. The deputy then looked over to the open driver's door and could see a wallet uh, sitting in the lower pocket of the driver's door. The deputy then asked the defendant if the wallet, if the wallet in the uh, door was his, and he said it was. The deputy handed him the wallet and asked him to remove his driver's license. The defendant had great difficulty locating his license and first handed Deputy Bain some type of store credit card or ID card. After the uh, deputy told him that this was not his driver's license, he then removed three additional cards from his wallet, one of which was his license. The uh, two others uh, fell on the ground. The deputy asked him to place his wallet on the roof of the vehicle. The deputy then radioed the driver's license information uh, for the defendant. The deputy then asked the defendant to face him so the deputy could perform a field sobriety test. As he raised his pen light to begin with the horizontal gaze test, the defendant started to fall backwards into the driver's door as he was too intoxicated to keep his balance. At that point, the deputy ceased testing and placed the defendant under arrest. The defendant was transported to the Kitson County Sheriff's Office at approximately 9.20 p.m. Sunday. The standard breath test uh, protocol was initiated, and the defendant agreed to take the test. Uh, Gadboy's uh, alcohol uh, level was read at 9.50 p.m. to indicate 0.21 blood alcohol over twice the legal limit. 
A review of Gadboy's driving history indicated that in the last 10 years, he had two prior DWIs, one on January 27, 2015 in Fairbanks, Alaska, and one on January 25th of 2017 in Palmer, Alaska. Again, a special school board meeting being held in Carlstead late on this Friday afternoon to appoint an interim superintendent as required by Minnesota law. Meanwhile, Gadboys remains on a non-disciplinary suspension with pay uh, pending the investigation. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.